Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this really awesome skull wall hanging. Now this is based somewhat off of something I had seen at Michael's. Their piece was only about nine inches wide, nine inches tall, and it was $21.99. The one that I'm gonna show you how to make is roughly 15 inches tall, 10 inches wide, and it costs uh, roughly $14. But anyway, I'm gonna show you the one from Michael's right now, and then we'll get into the craft. All right, y'all, let us get started. So first off, you're going to need one of these plaques from Dollar Tree. Yes, Dollar Tree. When I say Dollar Tree, I mean Dollar Tree. This is from a Dollar Tree Plus. You see how this says Greenbrier International? That's Dollar Tree. Um, but my Dollar Tree is a Dollar Tree Plus. So I got this there, and they still had a lot of these left when I got this one. So, But if you can't find it, what I'm getting to, if you can't find it, just you know, use something comparable. Look in thrift stores. A lot of times you can find, you know, paintings and things in beautiful frames that just need to be painted. You're also going to need some of these peel and stick removable tile decals. This came from Dollar Tree as well. Don't worry about the color so much. I'm, I'm going to paint this here in a little bit. So I'm not so much worried about the color. Now, I'm not going to paint this frame either because I like it. If you want to paint the frame... Ah, burlap is sticking to me. If you want to paint the frame, then go ahead and paint it. Like I said, I'm not. So if you flip it over here, you see these little doohickeys holding the back down. You're going to need to take that off. And I just have a small screwdriver here. Let's see. I'm just going to take these out and pop that off. And then I'm going to take the back out of it. Okay, so let's take the back off. These other ones spun around really easily. Um, I don't know why that one didn't. It was stuck. <laughs> Of course, the first one that I do gets stuck. But anyway, I just spun these around out of the way. So let's turn this. Let's see. Now, this side here is very rough. Um, you might not can see that. So this might be the better side to stick these to uh, because this is smooth. So now all I'm going to do is these are fairly thick. I'm probably going to have to stand up for this or hold this down so that I can see, you know, exactly how to get it centered here, but I'm just gonna stick this down here. Okay, I think, I think that is centered. It's just barely wide enough. These are just barely wide enough to cover this. So just put that down there. Get that bead out of the way. Oh my gosh, when I sat down to do this a while ago, there was a bead came rolling at me and I thought it was a bug and I, um. Oh, I killed it. It's a dead bead now. <laughs> but I am not real super concerned about if this doesn't line up exactly because we're going to be putting the skeletons on it. And that's really going to cover up any little boo-boos. Because some of these, I've used these tiles before from Dollar Tree. And sometimes the designs don't exactly line up. You just have to uh, just play with it just a little bit to see which, which side lines up the best okay and i think okay i think this one it's not 100 percent perfect but i think that's going to be the best way okay so i'm going to smooth this down and now i'm going to take my scissors and i'm going to trim around this i'm just going to flip it over and trim around this and cut out our oval okay that's looking pretty good and like i said i don't like this background because your skeletons are really not going to show up very well so I'm going to, <laughs> look at this, I've got paint all over it. So I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to paint it with this spray paint. This is a semi-gloss black. I wanted matte black, but I'm out of it. But anyway, I'm going to take it outside, do thin layers, okay? Because this is like a paper-based product here. You don't want to soak it with your paint. Very, very light layers. Let the layers thoroughly dry in between applications. Probably going to take me two to three layers on this. Anyway, let me go do that and I'll be back. All right, friends, this is what we have now. So where I had pieced this together, this line, I kind of put that on the bottom here because I think the majority of the skeletons, and then I'm going to put some flowers, I think that's going to cover it up. And the paint kind of sort of filled that in a little bit. But um, I put that towards the bottom, hoping to hide it here in a second. But anyway, where, uh oh, I'm going to lay that over there. And now I have some, oh my gosh, I was getting ready to say spiders. <laughs> These are my spiders. I got these skeletons. Now listen, these came from Walmart. Dollar Tree does carry skeletons, but the reason I got these at Walmart was, you see how the arms move? 
and I liked that is his hand on backwards no, I don't know but I liked how you could like articulate the the wrist here because this is what I'm looking for okay something where you could easily move the arms this tag says 448 that's not what they were they were three dollars and something uh, when I got to the register but anyway pretty much anywhere now you should be able to find these skeletons I saw some in Joann's um I mean, any place but Hobby Lobby is not going to carry it of course but um, any place that sells Halloween decorations. But we don't need the legs. So I'm just going to try to pop his little legs off. Ooh, I'm sorry, sir, ma'am, whatever you are, I'm sorry. All right, so I've got my glue gun. Why are you doing this? I've got my glue gun heating up over here because first off, we're gonna glue these down and then I'm going to, okay, I see the problem here, this is, stuck on there um we're going to glue them down with some hot glue first and then go back and back it up with some e6000 just to really make sure it's in place but let me rip off his little legs here and i'm going to cut this off now we got all these legs <laughs> i just throw it over here i have a box of like just spare parts of all kinds of stuff over here so um <laughs> put it over there all right so let me take a minute here and try to see how i want this to be arranged because it's, it's not going to be difficult to glue this down and get it to stay. The tricky part is just getting the arms and everything in place where I want it to be. And I don't know if I want to leave this arm on or if I want to take this arm off. Um, I'm leaning towards taking it off and just having these outward arms on here. Um, I think that might work better for us. Let's try to bring this down. I want one to be just a little bit taller than the other. I've seen something kind of like this at Michael's. And um, I'm trying to translate it here. Yeah, I think we're going to have to take that one arm off. Let, let me take it off. That's going to work out much, much better. Okay. So let's see. This is looking good as far as the height and where I want it to be. Let's see, because then we're going to try to turn the heads towards, you know, so that they're facing each other. And like I said, I want one to be a little bit taller than the other. So I am going to see if my glue gun is hot. Get over there and lay down. See if my, <laughs> my cat just laid down. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness, she's looking at me like, what? I'm over here minding my own business. <laughs> So I'm just going to use the hot glue to glue this down. And then I'm going to come down here. Like I said, there's going to be some flowers here. I'm just going to put some hot glue here to try to hold it down right there. And then I'm going to glue the other one down right here. Okay, I think I've got enough glue on here just to hold it down. Why are you here? Um, just to get everything in place. So I want to bring this arm. You got to be careful because I don't want to pop it off because I don't have my E6000 on here yet. I want this to come up sort of like touching his face here. And I'm going to have to hold that in place until this glue sets up. Okay, I believe that hot glue is holding for now. Now this arm, I want it to come over here, you know, in some sort of position. Um... Now, this plastic here, the little joints are kind of flimsy. So I took my glue gun here. And if you want to get this glue gun, look in the description box and I'll pin a comment where you can buy it. But you see like the nozzle here? Once the nozzle gets very hot and then you can just kind of hold it to thin plastic things like this. And then they're more easily bent like that, okay? So that I can kind of get this hand into some sort of position to work a little bit better with what I'm doing here. Just be careful that you don't, you know, pop the things off of your background here. Um, so let's see, I think that this would look okay. I'm gonna have to hold it up for a second because it's kind of difficult to get anything glued down because these uh, the bones are very thin. So I'm just gonna hold this here and let this glue set up. And then, like I said, at the end here, I'm going to go back with E6000 and stick everything down really well. Okay, so this is what I have so far. 
pretty happy with it, pretty happy with it. And now I have some flowers. These black ones here, I do believe came from Michael's. And then I have some purple ones that came from Dollar Tree. But you know, just wherever you want to get your flowers. Um, and so I want to stop, kind of curve these to where it goes up the frame. Maybe not cover the frame completely and I need more. Let me get some more over here. I had used these in a previous craft. Um, all right, this is thicker and looks fuller. So I'm just gonna glue these down here. Like I said, I'm gonna try to keep it curved. I'm just gonna glue here. I know I'm covering up this beautiful frame, but this is my craft. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold that right there and let that glue set a tiny bit. And then we're going to glue this other piece over here on the other side. Okay, so now I have these beautiful purple flowers. Let's pull their heads off. So here's that. And I'm just gonna trim this down on the back so that it's a little bit flatter. And then I'm just going to glue these because y'all know I've got to have some purple on here somewhere. Me and my little purple loving hearts got to have purple. And I think, I think I'll go ahead and just use two more because you know, it's just good to have things in um, groupings of three, you know, odd numbers. Okay, put that there. And now let's get... Ugh, well, these ain't the best looking flowers, but you know, they'll do. They will do. I went back to Walmart. I just bought Halloween flowers the other day and I go back to Walmart to get a handful more. And guess what? They're all gone. They're gone, baby. So when you find flowers that you like, um, seasonal flowers, holidays I'm talking about, you best grab them. Just chuck people out of your way and grab them. <laughs> Times are desperate. You just got to grab what you can. Okay. So I think that this is centered, I think. I'm sitting at an angle here. I'm sitting at an angle. Why is there glue on me? I don't know. So I'm gonna let this glue set up and then see if there's anything else I wanna add. You know what? I think I'm gonna put one black flower. I've been sitting here, you know, debating back and forth about whether or not I wanted to do this. One black flower right here. There we go. All right, that's it, that, that, yep. That is exactly what that needed, right there. All right, I, I'm very happy with this. I wish I had another purple petal right there. You know what, you can rip one off of the other flower and I'm just gonna glue that kind of down right in there. But I'm very happy with how this turned out. Very happy with it, I didn't have to pay Michael's prices. Cause you know what, when the Michael's Halloween stuff came out, I went crazy and I bought all of the Edgar Allan Poe stuff. I'm quite ashamed at how much I spent on Edgar Allan Poe stuff at Michael's. But anyway, there we go, that's better. All right, much, much better. I hope you enjoyed this. I had a ball making this, this was really fun. So if you would please give this video a thumbs up Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.